Tonight's change in the weather, as Kristen mentioned, will affect thousands of runners on their way to Seaside, taking part in the Hood to Coast. Our Cole Miller caught up with those runners tonight as they pass by St. Helens. More than a thousand teams and thousands of runners are making their way into St. Helens tonight here at the high school and at the Columbia County Fairgrounds. Now those running overnight and tomorrow are likely going to be getting wet and fighting some wind. Three, two, one, get on! From Timberline Lodge, Mount Hood, runners making their way downhill as the sun rises in the first leg of this year's Hood to Coast. And by this evening, a bulk of them making their way through Portland along Highway 30. It's going great. I uh, got first leg out of the way, my longest, uh, 7.2 miler. Each stride, one step closer to Seaside. You get to count all the people you pass. It's called road kills. It could be a wet and windy trek, though. Like our chief meteorologist, Kristen Van Dyke, just said, a lot of those runners will be racing into rain and strong wind gusts. I like, the rain. I like running in the rain. It, you know, cools you off. I, I, prefer, I like it. Many say they're ready and used to that kind of weather where they're from. We're from the gorge. We're used to wind and rain. <laughs> We're good with that. So what does our COIN6 team think about all of that talk? Well, let's ask a couple of them. You have to keep running. Yeah. We got, we got the beach. We got the beach ready and waiting for us. This is my, my third year doing the race, and those are weather conditions I've never experienced on this, this run before. And race organizers, they aren't taking things lightly. They're urging everyone to stay safe, have that van close by in case they lose cell phone service, and watch out for any wind damage like downed trees. Just adds an extra challenge to the race. We have tarps that we can, you know, attach to our van if we need to, to have a place to be undercover. And, you know, we have we have supplies along that will will be able to be OK. And race officials say they're going to keep a close eye on things overnight. And depending on the weather, there could be some changes to that finish party in Seaside tomorrow. We'll keep you updated in St. Helens. Cole Miller, Coin 6 News.